Hi there, this is James Mack, Regional Sales Manager with McCormick Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use McCormick's Auto Count feature. Let's start by opening up Design Estimating Pro. You want to make sure your scale is set and that you have an active part, which can be an item or assembly selected. Next, go to your Auto Count tab in your ribbon. Next, we'll define the search location. We can either plot out the points on the perimeter, or we can simply define the area easily with just left-clicking and dragging. Once we've defined the area, the next step would be to define the criteria. In other words, highlight the symbol you want to count. Sometimes it can be helpful to zoom in, left-click and drag again, the search criteria box shows us what we're about to count. The paintbrush icon allows you to refine the image further if you'd like. Let's go ahead and complete this search. Click Add Search. The program will now search for all the receptacles within the defined search location. Now we can review our results. I like to start by checking all and then scanning through to see if there's anything that the program picked up that we don't want. If you're happy with the results, the next step would be to hit Accept Takeoff. Now we see our results being applied to the drawing. The next step is simply review to make sure nothing was missed. If you do need to add any extra counts in, go to Perform Takeoff and add those counts. You can also make adjustments to any of the symbols on the screen. Turning on your legend shows you everything that was counted on this sheet. And of course, with McCormick, everything will flow directly into your audit trail. And that is how AutoCount works. Thank you for viewing today. To see more of McCormick Systems, you can schedule a personal demonstration by clicking on the Schedule Demo link or call us at the number on your screen.